Welcome to Williams Vintage Cycle. Today I have a 1972 Suzuki GT 750J. This is a really nice rare collectible bike. This is a all original, not restored example. This bike has only uh, 7,500 miles on it since it was brand new. All original paint, original seat cover, exhaust, everything just the way it uh, left the showroom floor. We purchased this bike from the original owner. They bought it new in 1972 in the Cincinnati area. They rode it for about 20 years, took exceptional care of it, then stored it in their heated garage in the mid 90s. We brought it back. Went over everything. The carburetors have been gone through, ultrasonic cleaned. The air filter was replaced. All the fluids were replaced. New coolant, new oil and filter. The exhaust was removed and cleaned. Put back together with brand new Suzuki O-rings and seals. We installed brand new tires and tubes on it. The old tires were still in good shape but they were uh, pretty old so to be safe we put new ones on here. New battery of course. Everything works on this bike. All your lights, gauges, switches, charging system, it's all been tested. The bike runs great. It sounds awesome. This has all the uh, correct 72 J model parts on it, such as the uh, the four leading shoe front brake, the uh, the original 72 wide fender. Uh, headlight with the squared off bottom, the correct engine side covers, one little scrape here on the radiator cover looks like there might have been a foot peg installed there at one time, gas tank is nice and clean inside Probably kind of hard to see in the picture. Here you can see the original 7,497 miles. I've put about 50 miles on this bike myself to make sure everything was running good, no problems. Original S mirrors. It's a sweet running bike, of course it draws a ton of attention when you stop at the fuel station. The right side exhaust system does have a couple of little imperfections in it. There's a ding here at the bottom as you can see. And the black exhaust cone has a little scrape in it. There. All four of the uh, original exhaust tips are there. All the original decals are in place. Just an overall really nice example. 
you don't see them too often in this condition anymore, especially uh, non-restored originals with less with less than 10,000 miles. Let me fire it up here for you. Just a little cold right now. As it warms up, it'll start to idle better, of course. signal. Right signal. Horn. And your brake light. Those nice early style switches on there. Right, we'll put the camera down and I'll take our little short ride around the parking lot for you. Again, this is a 1972 Suzuki GT 750 J model, commonly referred to as the water buffalo or the kettle for our friends across the pond. Hopefully I've answered all your questions, but if I left anything out, feel free to give us a call. My name is Matt. And again, this is Williams Vintage Cycle in Xenia, Ohio. Thank you for watching.